In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use Inkscape and GIMP and create beautiful parallel effects. Let's go to a free service called Desgo and let's create an image. First, we'll put in the prompt. In the style of Pixar 3D, a boy in a park. In the background, we see trees and a beautiful lake. But we make sure that we have it on landscape. That's going to return us an image. Let's look at the image for a second. Here we have, we can break it into three or four parts. We have the front area where the boy is standing. We have the middle area where we have that group of trees and we have the lake. And then we have in the far area, we have the trees with the rocks. I have also added another idea, which is to take the tree and make it an object. I wanted to experiment to see how I could move that slightly to create a good effect. The first thing you have to do is you have to trace out these individual areas. So using the spline function in Inkscape, you can trace out these areas and then use the clip function and clip that image, keep it aside, because then we're going to combine it and we're going to save them separately. So here what we're doing is we're separating the front, the middle section, and the back. This takes a little bit of work, but uh, if you use the spline and you use the node tool, you can be pretty, pretty efficient at separating the images. So now we have our different images. We reassemble them because now we're going to export them as a PNG file because we want to have that background to be invisible or transparent. So we just assemble it again and we look to make sure that we got all of the different parts done and we start saving them individually as PNG files. And we number them in terms of their layers because later we're going to be able to take it into our video editor and then arrange them accordingly. It's important to be able to um, make sure that we have the right order because otherwise your parallax effects is not going to work. Now we go into the GIMP and what we have to do is because these images are going to be moving we have to smooth the edges. The background images we need to create and extend them because when we have our uh, parallax effect we're going to be able to see these transparent areas so we need to kind of determine how we're going to expand those images. So one by one we load them up and also we need to clean the ed edges because when you do the separation you're going to get very straight edges and you're going to have a little bit of an anomaly on the edges. So what we do is we use the cloning tool in Gink Inkscape, I mean in uh, GIMP, to fix the edges to make them a little bit more um, blurry and to copy some of the other elements so that they don't look like they have a very straight edge. So we're going around the edges and we're just using the you can there's there's two methods that you can use. You can either use the the uh, diffusion brush or you can use the cloning brush. I like to use the cloning brush because I can grab some of the images and just paste copy paste them around to create kind of a really good look. Now we've gone into our editor and we've loaded up all the images and now we're just going to play around and try to get the images to the right size. So we usually start on the left and we set to around 105 percent because the images need to be slightly bigger otherwise when you move them you're going to see the edges. So we, we, so we set it at 105 percent and then we go to the end and we set it at 120 percent. Then what we do is we look to see when we start using the X to move some of the layers slightly left or slightly right to get that effect. We play around and see what the effect is going to be looking like. And then you're going to see some areas where you have blanks because you didn't cover you didn't cover the uh, or copy that background properly. So what I do is I go back into GIMP, I repaint some areas, and then I come back, and they're, of course they're going to be automatically loaded again, and I see where I have missed some areas. That way I can make sure this parallax effect is looking good. 
In this case, I missed a little bit of the water. Now we're going back and forth. Actually, I noticed that the tree really uh, didn't do much for it. I could have actually added that into the foreground image, but still, um, there's something else that we could have done. Now I've created the image, and here we go. We have a beautiful parallax effect. Now, this took me just a few minutes uh, to do, and I presume that you can take any image and break it up into three parts and create your own parallax effect. If you like these videos, I have other videos uh, about how to use Inkscape and GIMP to create other effects such as small animations and things like that. And I've also created a series called uh, One Minute Future AI Insights where I cover a variety of topics of how AI is being used in the past, present, and future. So if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. That really helps a lot uh, to spread the word and we'll see you on uh, future projects.